Hey guys, Melgik Mojo 84. Thanks Uncycle and Melgik Malaysia for the review unit. Although it's called the Mojo 84, please take note that this is actually a 75% keyboard. The only reason why it's called an 84 is because there are 84 switches on the keyboard. But first things first, let's get down to its unboxing. Let's go. You've seen the video on the unboxing, but I'm pretty sure you really want to know what do I think about it as I'm unboxing it on my own. Okay, so let's just go ahead with it. It's a pretty nice box though. It's actually, it feels really sturdy. It doesn't feel cheap by any chance. Ta-da! Okay, you've got the, key get, the keyboard here again. Manuals, we don't need that. This is the USB dongle. I'm not too sure if you actually noticed, but the USB dongle kind of looks like a Lego piece. Don't worry, I'm actually going to show you all a close up of everything right now. Okay, first out of the box, we've got Cute keycaps, alternative keycaps. You've got a space bar, command button, option button, alternate, no fakes allowed. You've got a keycap puller. Okay, I'm, I would say that I'm actually a bit disappointed in this. If they could actually give you a keycap puller, it wouldn't be hard to actually turn it into a switch puller itself. I hope you guys improve on this. And this, my friends, is my favorite thing of the keyboard, actually. I'm not too sure what material is the USB cable, but it's soft, it's smooth, it feels a bit like silicon, but wow. Honestly, this is the best USB A to C cable I've ever seen in my life. And then an interesting feature here, if you can see it actually got close up, okay? Melgeek has the words chicken dinner embossed onto it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And on the USB-C, it says good typing. So good typing it is with this keyboard. I wouldn't say that this is DIY friendly number one, mainly because of the way the casing has been made. The casing requires to actually release a couple of clips from the drop shelf of the casing and you've got to actually keep them pinned in that opening position as you're actually opening all the other sides as well. So my biggest fear when trying to actually open this was that I would actually break the pins of the casing. And honestly, after speaking to a few people and also using it for a couple of days, I realized that you don't actually need to customize or modify this particular keyboard. Why I would say so is actually, if you look through the sides of the keyboard, you would notice there are plenty of layers stacked on top of another. First things first, let me put out there that this is a gasket mounted keyboard. You can see all the gaskets present at the top and bottom of the casing. And also at the very edges of each corner, Melgeek has placed a, a rubber holder or sort to prevent lateral movements of the PCB or any of the inter internal components. The casing comes topmost with its keycaps, followed by the switchboard, pour-on form, a silicon pad at the bottom, and the casing. 
There is also a polycarbonate polycarbonate sheet in between the panels. So out of the box, it actually sounds really nice. It also has smooth a smooth typing feel. You don't feel too much resistance on the switches. Okay? As I've said before, it's 75% 75, 75 keyboard. It has RGB. And the command buttons can be programmed using Malgeek's own proprietary software called Malgeek Hive. You can download the software. It also has a few other nifty features provided in it. You can program macro keys and all that. And there is also a dongle repair feature found on the software. The dongle repair feature is basically used when you are having problems trying to connect to 2.4 gigahertz wireless. It's a very easy feature to use. In fact, I actually had problems with it when I first got the keyboard and I managed to solve it using that particular function on the Malgeek Hive software. So you've actually seen what it comes with. Okay. There's nothing to elaborate about it. It gets straight to the point. What do I like about the keyboard is actually out of the box. It's a pretty darn good keyboard. You do not need to actually tweak or customize or modify anything as Melgeek has actually ensured that the keyboard comes with almost everything you need. There is no requirement for a tape mod to make it sound more talky because it comes with a silicon dampener at the bottom. This particular keyboard is being sold in Malaysia for RM899. Yes, it sounds like a hefty price tag, but Trust me when I say this, if you're spending 899 on a keyboard, I'm pretty sure you don't want to be wasting time customizing or modifying anything. Okay? This is a keyboard that is not made for those of you who are into the DIY market. This keyboard is best used out of the box. It serves its purpose for people like me and a few other people that I know of, whereby we just don't have the time to actually customize or modify the keyboard. So if you're looking for one that is ready out of the box, is good, it's impressive, it has multiple forms of connectivity. The Mojo 84 it is. And not forgetting, it's USB-A to USB-C cable. I think that the small gestures shown by Malgeek, such as the embossing of some words and slogans on the, on the headers of the USBs, is actually a pretty nice or a good thoughtful feature from Melgeek. I mean, where do you actually find people who actually, who actually go all the way out of their way to actually customize those cables? Those cables are actually given to us like it's some freebie. And the keycaps. Yeah, okay. The keycaps, I don't know, maybe some of you might like it, some of you may not like it. But for me, I'm not a big fan of the keycaps. So I would probably use my own generic keycaps because I don't like the MDA profile. I'm a person who prefers the ASA profile, so I'll definitely swap out the key keycaps to that. But beyond that, there's actually nothing much you need to customize. The stabilizers are good out of the box. The switches are actually good. I feel they're on par to my Gatron Oil Blacks. So not too bad. I'm actually really impressed. And for 899 I don't mind buying it. So that's about it for today. Thank you all and see you all in the next one.